Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a square root spiral, also known as the spiral of Theodorus, Pythagoras spiral, Pythagoras snail, and Einstein's spiral. So, this spiral is started with an isosceles right angle triangle, where each side has a measurement of one unit, one centimeter, one meter. In this case, we're going to use one centimeter. And based on Pythagoras' theorem, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So from this theorem, we can deduct that the hypotenuse squared has to be equal to 2, as 1 squared plus 1 squared is equal to 2. So therefore, the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. So from now on, we are going to continue forming right angle triangles using the hypotenuse of the previous triangle as one of the sides and the other side will always be one unit. And when we connect these two sides, we form a new hypotenuse, which is going to be the square root of three based on the same reasoning as the previous one. So we're going to continue as we can see here using the protractor and the hypotenuse of the previous triangle, we draw a one unit side. And now we join these two sides, forming a new hypotenuse, which is the square root of four, as can be seen here. And we're going to continue this process. And we get the square root of five. And from this hypotenuse square root of five, we draw a one unit perpendicular. And now we join the two sides to get a new hypotenuse, which is the square root of six. So we're going to continue this and 17 times to complete one lap or one turn of the spiral. This is also called a polygonal spiral because uh, the, the outside edge are um, not curved like a normal spiral. They are straight lines with length one, as you can see here. So now we're just over halfway there, continuing the same process from the previous Hypotenuse, which is the square root of 10, we draw a perpendicular side with unit length 1. And we get a new hypotenuse, which will be the square root of 11. This also looks like the plan view of a spiral staircase looking down from the top. We continue with the square root of 14. So we've got three more right angle triangles left to complete the spiral. Okay, um, this should give us the hypotenuse, the square root of 16, and then one more to complete. And then just to make the drawing look better, we are going to highlight the outer sides, one unit in a thicker line. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you.